G'day all, it's Colin from PC TLC and thanks for joining me. So I'm running in a live environment here under Ubuntu 18.04. Um, I've got my partitions here. This one was device SDA 13. I've deleted that. So what I did is right click and delete. Um, so that's deleted. Um, so I thought at this point I might start recording just to um, just so I've got some sort of documentation on what I'm doing here. So uh, earlier I reformatted this boot partition I couldn't boot any of the operating systems in here. So I run boot repair and now it's working again. So now what I want to do with this is uh, create a new partition again. Another 512. Be a primary, it, uh, it'll be FAT32. Okay, and then another new partition here. Uh, we'll use the whole thing, primary X10, yep, add that, and apply the changes. So I found out today that uh, Pop OS um, doesn't use uh, Grub. So I was chatting with the guys on Big Daddy Linux and they said that um, it needs to be installed to its own partition. So what I'm doing... Now, um, oh, actually, I'll wait till... What I'm doing is creating a second FAT32 partition that I can install Pop! OS to. So I'm not sure whether that's going to work. Don't even know how that's going to work. Um, so this is just totally experimental. Um, if I mess things up, I'll just repartition the whole thing again and um, start from scratch. Because I haven't got too far into it. I've made my Ubuntu video, so I'm happy with that. So that's successful. Let's have a look. Okay, so I've got, um, so this one will have to be uh, manage flags, have to be boot and ESP. That's what you set it for, for a UEFI. Okay, now, okay, okay, so that looks to be right. So my next step is to install uh, Pop! OS to maybe the SD14 and use this FAT32 here, so keep it away from the rest of them. So um, I'm, I'm thinking that this FAT32 here will dual boot with this FAT32, so you get all the options of these ones, or whatever's installed to there, which was three, four, and five, I think I've installed so far. Budgie, Mate, and Ubuntu. So the rest are, are not installed to yet. So, but whatever's on here should show up and then be dual booted with this, I think. I don't know. Because that um, Pop, Pop OS should be a individual on this one. And that'll be individual from that one. So there might be like a dual boot situation. But if Pop! OS doesn't run Grub, I'm not quite sure how that works. I may even have to use Boot Repair again for it to check it out. So, um, Pop! OS is almost downloaded. It's a few minutes to go, so we'll see. I'll uh, write that to USB and see how we go. Thanks for watching. Okay, so um, I'm in Pop OS and I'm going to install Pop OS to um, a separate partition and a separate boot drive. So I want to, uh, apparently, a Pop OS does not come with Grub, so I'm going to attempt to dual boot this with a few Ubuntu uh, systems, so we'll see how we go. 
So I'm just looking for the actual install. Let's have a look. Install Pop OS, there it is. So I'm going to customize partitions. Now on this list here, this SDA1 is a FAT32, you can see there's my swap. And then I've got all these other devices, which are X, XT4, XT4, all of them except this one here, device SDA13, that's another FAT32 um, partition that I'm going to install Pop OS to. So everything else I installed to here, Pop OS doesn't have Grub apparently, so I need to, it needs to have its own. Now I don't know if it's got Gparted in here, let me have a quick look, yes it does. So if I open up Gparted, what I've done with those two partitions is um, set them as uh, the boot flags as ESP and boot or boot ESP just have a quick look at that that's important we must do that so that one there is boot ESP flag and this one here boot ESP flag so um, so what we're going to do is, this is a nice little install of this, I've, this is completely different to what I'm used to anyway. So uh, what we do is click on here, go use partition and I'm going to format that. It's going to be use as root and ext4. So that's that done. Use partition. Um, I don't know, with, I don't need to format that. And it's going to be boot EFI, which is what we're after. So that's that done as well. So as you can see, the yellow one is here, the green one is here, and they're both done. So um, that's that done. So what we're going to do now is erase and install. Now I probably would have shown you the screenshot of, I've taken a screenshot of what's currently in my partitions on boot up and Pop OS was not included in that. So we're going to see if we can include, now they're all three Ubuntu's. I've installed um, Budgie uh, and then Mate and then I boot, and then I installed Ubuntu GNOME or GNOME. So that's the three that I had before. I did have a Manjaro one on there. That was Manjaro Cinnamon. Um, I haven't done nothing with that. I haven't put that back on. I'm just keen to see whether we can boot um, Pop OS and dual boot with these Ubuntu's at the moment. Now, um, where's minimize? <laughs> There's no minimize. I don't know what that's all about. How are you supposed to minimize this? Uh, maybe click on here, is it? No? Hmm, don't understand that one. Maybe here, no. Uh, maybe here. Minimize, okay. All right. Yep. All right, so I've got to get used to uh, different OSs, I suppose. Okay, so uh, setup is complete. I need to start the device. First of all, I shall um, stop my recording, save that, and then... Uh, uh, we shall restart.
Okay, so um, what we've got here is, uh, let's have a look at, um, so I've run the video of Pop! OS after installing, it restarted and it booted. So it booted back in, we done everything we needed to do and we set up the user and all that sort of thing. And after shutting down and restarting, it's nowhere to be found it's nowhere to be found in the menu, boot menu. So there's no uh, Pop! OS boot to be found at all. So if we have a look at this picture, this is the uh, first boot of Pop! OS and nothing to be found. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run uh, the usual grub commands in the terminal. So let's have a look here. So we're going to go sudo os-prober put in your password see what we can find And looks like it's found Pop! OS. So now what we're going to do is sudo update dash grub. Now hopefully all going well, it'll find the Pop! OS um, boot file and uh, we'll be able to boot into Pop! OS because it is installed to its separate its own separate boot partition so it should be separate from everything else so hopefully this will just pick up that there's an OS there which it has so now we'll see whether updating the grub will actually um, are there there it is found pop OS okay so that's it so okay I'm going to probably take another photo of the boot up before I um, go back into Pop! OS. Right so I booted into Pop! OS so that was successful um, bit scary first boot. I logged in and got a completely black screen, did a hard shutdown and booted again. Everything's fine. So don't know what happened there. It's a bit scary, but I uh, thought, uh, thought something had gone terribly wrong, but just one of those things, I suppose. So um, this is Pop! OS um, and seems to be running quite well at the moment. Uh, pretty happy with the uh, end result. Just have a quick look around while we're at it. Um, not much installed. You got system stuff here. Um, disk startup applications. Um, office there and utilities. And USB flasher. Yep. So Geary. I don't really use that. So this is the 1804 anyway pop and then you got the pop shop so we'll have a quick look at that while we're in here and that's the uh, I believe the ele well it's definitely the elementary um, uh, software store software center what do they call it um, if we go into audio back it is quite a nice um, uh, software center pop shop I must say so um, oh yeah, so that's just taken a while to uh, populate all that uh, information up top there pop picks so not the top picks the pop picks <laughs> so uh, everything's popping in this desktop so there you go 
uh, won't look around too long. I'm just um, happy that this has worked out. So I shall share with uh, a special friend from Big Daddy Linux Live, and hopefully that might help him out to get Pop OS going on his computer. So uh, hope uh, hope this helps somebody. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.